Hey, it's Adam from Check This Out. It's episode 33. 33 episodes, eh? I've only been doing this revamp YouTube channel a couple of months. Um, trying to fit the videos in where I can. Right, let's jump straight into it. A little bit of a special upload this. Um, you know, for me viewers there got a few subscribers last video got quite a few views the david essex one as well good stuff but it's not all about views it's about me talking about the music what means a lot to me what's really really important um and me saying to you guys who are watching you need to listen to this particular track by an artist an actor or whatever yeah so we're still going to do that today but it's a little bit of a tribute this um when i first started the, doing the channel again a month or well a couple of months ago now um i did a video on the one and only the mighty killing joke spoke about that album outside the gate um and the title track off the album outside the gate yeah um it's not my favourite song by him though, it's just a song what's important to me, if that makes sense. But yeah, this week unfortunately, real sad news beginning of the week that their guitar player, Geordie Walker, had passed away. Really sad news, um, gutting. I've been into that band 30 years. I'm not like, you know, like a hardcore collect everything fan. But I'm a big fan and I really like them. And I've seen them about four times. First time I saw them were in 94. They were fantastic, just as I were first getting into them. Yeah, so really, really sad news to hear of Geordie Walker's passing. Um, what powerhouse of a guitarist he was. Never did a solo, from what I know, as well. Um, wasn't particularly flashy. But what a noise he could make and i'm not meaning noise in a bad way we're talking it had energy you know you go to a killing joke gig and there's an energy in the room they call it a gathering they call the fans a gatherers yeah if you don't know much about killing joke get on the internet do some research there's a really good documentary on them called the death and resurrection show you can get it on youtube just watch it watch it it's fantastic and you'll see Jordy get interviewed there talks about his guitar i don't know the name of the guitar and i think it's a semi-acoustic i'm not entirely sure but the sound on it it's just part and parcel of the killing joke sound as such so really sad to hear of his passing um a couple of dear friends of mine from back in the days when i used to work in hmv i know them were gutted in fact a really good friend, a dear friend who got me into Killing Joke. His name's Jem. Used to work with him. I know he's like he's gutted about it, and um, you know it, it kind of brings you together as fans. It's a really important thing, you know. There's a connection with music, isn't there? Especially with your mates who you think a lot about. So yeah, sad news and sad about Shane McGowan as well. Not got a lot of Pogue stuff. I've got a best of on CD, but. They don't make them like Shane McGowan anymore, do they? So yeah, a little bit of a tribute as such. This video, episode 33. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about a track as such. But I'm going to talk about an album by Killing Joke. And this album, I, I like it better than Outside the Gate. And I do like, I love all Killing Joke's albums, yeah. Um, I'm a lot more familiar with like everything from the first album up until um, Pandemonium and then I've got a couple of releases after um, but yeah I mean the early stuff I'm more than familiar with and I've got it all as such some on vinyl some on CD yeah so let's get into it I could name like the first album second album Revelations Nighttime you should listen to that but this particular album really stands out for me. And I have to say, it will be in my top five albums of any time. Occasionally, maybe touching on the number one spot. I just love it. Um, it divides opinion a little bit. 
in the Killing Joke fan base, but it's just a fantastic album and it's called Brighter Than A Thousand Suns and I love it. It's absolutely fantastic, it really is. Now, there's my copy there on vinyl. I love it so much, I've got two copies on CD as well. Um, I've got the original on CD, the original issue. And then the reissue came out in 2007 where it got remixed. I think it was the original remix, what the band wanted to do. I've got that as well. And it's a great album. Now, a lot of albums I talk about are artists. I'll say, oh, this is a summer album. The The Soul Mining is an example of that, yeah. But you know what? Killing Joke, Brighter Than A Thousand Suns, for me, it's an autumn, winter album. It really is. Um, you know, when you're walking... And it's a dark winter night and you're walking through the street you've got this in your earphones this album it'd be the perfect companion yeah absolutely <coughs> i love it it's just a brilliant album every time i listen to it it takes me back to when i first got into them back in 93 maybe early 94 yeah i was a young bloke then um 19 when i was 19 and um, Killing Joke, they're the band when you may be drawn to different things and you're open-minded, you know, when you're, when you're young and you're 19, they're going to tick a lot of boxes and they've got an edge to them, they've got an energy and they're real and they're authentic. No fake about Killing Joke, they're about as real as you get, they're the real deal. Um, and each one of them as individuals, I mean, brilliant, fabulous talents, but when they combine, yeah, absolutely. And um, I can't really give Geordie Walker justice with what I could say, what he deserves as such, but um, I know he'd be really sadly missed as such. So anyway, I'm gonna get my glasses on, excuse the glare, yeah, there we go. Look that way, Adam, not that way. Yeah, the little dot, the camera's there. And um, we'll just run through the track listing. I mean, the favourite song for me on the album is the first tune, Adorations, yeah. I've got the lyrics framed downstairs. Um, we're like uh, music memorabilia I've got. The, the, the lyrics, are... tell you what, the lyrics were killing joke, yeah the poetic, you know, there's the sound and what they're all about. And they've covered so many styles. You can't pigeonhole kill, killing joke. But I got around to actually reading the lyrics to Adorations and it is poetry. Absolutely, I sound a bit pretentious there and I don't care, but it's poetic as such. But every song on this album, Sanity, Chessboards, Twilight of the Mortal, that's side one. That, we're talking all killer no filler on this yeah and then side two love of the masses a southern sky winter gardens rubicon I mean, rubicon get this album in your life yeah do it there we go um back cover there the one and only there he is there he is there geordie walker bless him yeah it will be sadly missed but let's focus on the music. The music will always be with us, you know, and some music's timeless. I guess all music's timeless, but music, what means a lot to you and touches your heart, that sometimes you will always get that. You'll like music, but then there's certain music what touches your ear and you think that's part of me now. And I can definitely say that about Killing Joke, what, what Killing Joke mean to me and meant to me when I first got into them. 30 years ago now, eternally thankful to my dear friend Jem for introducing me to them. Yeah. And um, yeah, just really sad news this week. You know, downer. But we'll always have the music. That's what we've got to remember. I think it was particularly difficult as well just touch on this, a little bit of life stuff now, but it kind of ties in. The Monday I found out I had to go to a funeral, it were a lad who I used to be a support worker for, he'd passed, and it could have been avoided. 
as such and that's what I'm going to say on it just certain lifestyle choices and it was a real eye opener being there and he had a massive turnout and I saw his family and I'd got when you're in that dynamic when you're a support worker and I was his direct support worker it's almost like you become family in a way and you become incredibly close to somebody and um it truly was an eye opener to go there to the service you know incredibly sad so i had that news and that's where i went on monday but then i also found out at the same time because I, I spent time with good friends who were ex-colleagues of mine they told me what had been going on because that job being a support worker i i stopped doing it six months ago um I kind of done me feel there and I needed to concentrate on myself, not being selfish in any way. But I found out another lad who I was supporting had passed as well. Unfortunately, it's a common thing in the line of work I was doing. Um, and that just really shocked me. It really did. Because um, I thought he'd turn things around and it'd be all right. And again, it... it it was, it was his own choice, shall we say, that's all I'll say on it. And I felt quite troubled after, you know, but um, my mind's calmed with it as such. I think a lot of that is because I work a program with my sobriety and I know I've got that to lean back on when things can, um, you know, give you a little bit of a shake as such. So I count myself very blessed to have that. So yeah, dedicate this to Geordie Walker, this episode. Um, let's celebrate the music, that's what it's all about. And if you're not listening to Killing Joke, just check him out. Check out that documentary, Death and, Death and Resurrection Show. And the video for the song Adorations, every one of the members all look just cool as on the video um, it's very atmospheric and it often gets played when I'm on YouTube yeah and this final here often gets spun it does so yeah that's who I'm dedicating this video to and the two guys I can't mention names or whatever who had the honor of supporting who are no longer with us um, I'll never forget them. You know, they'll always be on my mind and we'll leave it there. So yeah, not to finish on the downer. Let's turn it around a bit. Do you know what we need to think, yeah? Especially this time of year. Just appreciate your family. People you love. Tell them you love them. You know, let people know. Reach out if you're struggling. Um, and basically, just be a decent human being and be kind. If we can all do that, we'll all be all right. Maybe a little naive on my part, but if we all did it, I think it'd work. I'm going to leave it there. Um, episode 34 coming up. Who are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Marvin Gaye. I've got some vinyl on way. And when that vinyl arrives in a few days, I'm going to do a video on it because it's got a top song on the album I've got. Yeah. Right. Stay cool. Please be kind. And I'll see you soon. Bye.